Hello, feature developers, and welcome to the continuation of our dashboard. Okay, financial dashboard or page. So, finally, we are going to work on the CSS style, um, side. Okay, so I'll go to my main CSS. So remember, in your HTML, remember to um, link your CSS. Okay, as you see here, highlighted here. So I'll click on my main CSS. Okay. Then I'm going to have to start uh, with my universal selector. Okay, that's the asterisk. Then I'm going to set my margin and part into zero. So margin to zero. Then a part in also to zero. Okay. Let's see what is happening. So there's no margin, there's no part in. And then we want to give our font to so every text, okay, in our um Documents okay, font family. We want to give them a font family of Verdena. This one, okay. So, font family. So, we are declaring that in the um, universal selector. And I'm going to do that of the box sizing. So, box sizing, going to do border box, okay, just so we get the exact um, size that we want. So, border box. Okay. Now, outside this. I'm going to work on the body. So body. So the body. Let's do a, give it a background color of um, this. This. Okay. So this. Okay. Now would we give it display flex? Flex. Okay. And then let's do that of flex direction. Direction. I'm going to set it to column. It's clearly aligned or arranged. And then we'll align items. Let's do align items. Let's do center. Okay. So we're centering everything. So if I enlarge it, you can see it's centered. Okay. Now let's do justify content. So justify content to also center so you want to center everything okay on both axes okay so horizontally basically they should be well centered okay so in the next lesson we'll work on the section aspects okay so we'll learn to start our section okay uh, remember we have this section here okay so which is this so we are going to start this in the next lesson. So thank you for watching and then I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.